Hi, I'm Joy Colley for Biology 210 here at Aiken Technical College. We're going to take a quick look at the model we see in front of us. This is a model of a skeletal muscle fiber, so this is an individual cell. And we know we're looking at a cell for a variety of reasons. As we look at the tube within a tube body plan, we see some individual cellular structures like the nucleus represented here, like several mitochondria, and we see the mitochondria represented in the cell. If we can see cellular structures, we're looking at a cell. So once again, this is a model of a muscle fiber. That means that these structures, and the kind of like little skyscrapers here along the way, these represent the myofibrils. Myofibrils ultimately are the contractile organelles that we find within a fiber. We begin to see a little bit of the sarcomere structure where we have Z-lines, M-lines, little zone of overlap between the thick fibers and the thin fibers. If we're looking at sarcomere structure, anything that we recognize as part of the sarcomere, we're fundamentally looking at a myofibril. Train cars are our sarcomeres, which ultimately create the length of the myofibril. The white in here are the T-tubules, which distribute the charge, looking ultimately at inside the cell. If this whole entire model represents the fiber, then the plasma membrane has a special name we know in the muscle. We refer to that as the sarcolemma. So then the protective connective tissue sheath that we find surrounding the individual cell is going to be the endomyceum. This is one individual cell. We have the myofibrils, we have the mitochondria, we have the nucleus, we have the plasma membrane, and we have the connective tissue, endomyceum, skeletal muscle fiber. Okay, here's the second model that we have of a skeletal muscle fiber. Once again, this is a model of a single cell. We know that because when we look at some of the structures, we can see the nuclei. There's a nuclei. There's a nuclei. So multinucleate skeletal muscle cell. This is voluntary muscle. What we're looking at internally here, each individual pillar is a myofibril. Myofibrils are our contractile organelles. We see a little bit of the sarcomere structure in that we can start to see the banding, the striations, light filament, dark filament. We also see some Z lines written across here. We're looking at one cell. So if this is one cell, the plasma membrane is the sarcolemma, and the connective tissue sheath on the outside is the endomyceum. In this particular model, we also see a little bit of the interaction with the nervous system. We recognize that voluntary muscle, ultimately, the action is going to be initiated by the nervous system, the central nervous system, out to the peripheral. This represents the neuromuscular junction and the site where the acetylcholine passes through the synapse to trigger the process. But this is a second model of a skeletal muscle fiber, an individual cell.